Good afternoon. Today, I didn't realize it, but it's the second Friday art walk here in Pittston. Pretty similar to uh, what I was talking about last week in Scranton for first Friday, except they do it on the second Friday of the month. Pretty much not to step on the toes of Scranton and to hopefully get some of that crowd. Now, this one is not nearly on the scale of Scranton's, which is not nearly on the scale of Philly's, but it's usually pretty cool. It's about the same thing. There's some art that's displayed. It's mostly music, and there's a bunch of restaurants downtown that have specials. Walking down, I did hear Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah being covered, and it sounded spot on. Now, we didn't go down there and film, not because I was afraid of copyright infringement. Uh, if you've watched this vlog for a while, you see me record at World of Brew. Cover songs usually don't come up, so not really afraid that way, but there's a lot of houses on the way there that have dogs, and everybody's dog is out today because it's like probably still about 82, 83 degrees. It's beautiful out. And the dogs, every dog in this neighborhood is a lunatic. So Oliver's still got a bum leg. Once dogs start barking at him, he doesn't really pull towards the dog. He kind of just wants to run, and I can't have him running because he's only about two months in on this injury, and I don't want him to re-hurt himself or hurt it even worse than it was originally. So I waited till we got out here where we're in cemetery that you've seen me film in plenty of times. We like walking in this cemetery because A, it's generally pretty peaceful as cemeteries often are. And there's a lot of shade. So on a nice warm day like this, when Oliver's overheated, he wants to sit down, there's plenty of shade. So we're gonna take a, a seat up here in the shade. And we're gonna talk about art. Now I am by no means an art aficionado. And honestly, I, I know pretty much zero about it. But I am lucky enough to have several, if not a lot of friends that are artists, including Amy. I don't know if you're aware of this, but Amy went to uh, Moore College of Art and Design in Philadelphia. She actually went to art school right out of high school. And then she went back to be an x-ray tech after that. So. Amy is actually has a BFA, Bachelor of Fine Arts in painting. She is a painter and when we get home I'll show you a couple of her paintings. There's a few of them uh, that we have hanging up at the house. But one of my favorite tattoos which I will go over in the Q&A is actually this guy. I'm not trying to make a muscle because I don't have any. Ooh, you're falling over. Is this guy right here, the airplane. That was actually done by a friend of mine who's getting pretty famous. Uh, he goes by Austin Lee. Uh, I think he's, I think he still lives in New York now. I want to say maybe Brooklyn is where he's, he's based out of, but he's, he's all over the world. He's doing shows and I've seen him do shows in Japan and Paris. He's in LA, uh, in the UK, he's everywhere. Austin Lee, if you have a chance, I'll throw his Instagram uh, down below so you can go check that out. But he's, he's awesome, and he actually drew this for me a back in 2005. But a lot of things could be considered art. A lot of my tattoos people will think are not art, and will have a very strong opinion, and have expressed a very strong opinion about them to me. But. When people think of art, they generally just think of like pictures and paintings, which is art. Uh, that's fine art. But then there's a whole lot of different types of art.
art and beauty are not synonymous with one another. Just because something's art doesn't make it beautiful, and just because something's beautiful doesn't make it art. Art is subjective. To some people, art is rusted license plates and tattoos. To other people, it's not art, it could be offensive. In my opinion, Mother Nature has the greatest paintbrush out of anything in this world. You can see the most beautiful picture, you can see the most beautiful painting, but in the end, all of those things are inspired by what the artist saw in the world, what Mother Nature made. Even if it's something man-made, Mother Nature had a hand in it. The materials that go into everything, the wood, the concrete, the steel, that all came from the earth. So even if it's a man-made structure that inspired a photograph or a piece of art, Mother Nature had a hand in that. I showed you several paintings, some of which were done by Amy, some of which were done by our friends. Namely, the painting that was like that ghostly figure, Amy actually purchased that and the ceramic artwork next to it, which is actually made of cat whiskers that was purchased from an art gallery as well. But other things like the, the space painting, that was a housewarming gift from actually my high school art teacher is a family friend, and that was what he gave Amy and I when we bought this house. The paintings of Oliver and Bella, they were a Christmas present, a birthday present to Amy. They were surprise gifts. One of Amy's college roommates from more art school, I called her up and I said, Ivy, I have an idea. Can you help me out? I sent her pictures and she made paintings. Paintings are a big part of art for Amy, but mostly for me are guitars. I love, I love guitars. That's why I showed you that 1978 Gibson Deluxe. That is something that I've wanted forever. I just think that is one of the most beautiful works of art there possibly could be. Trumped probably only by a 56 Les Paul gold top, a nicely aged worn Les Paul gold top with P90 pickups. That's that's like heaven in a guitar for me. That's a big thing to me and, and to Amy, guitars are guitars. They're just, they're instruments. To me, they're art. It's, it's all subjective. It's all something that the person viewing it finds appealing to themselves. Now, I don't want the point of this to be about what's art, what's not art. I really want to challenge you to just go out in the world and just find beauty in everything. There's something beautiful in just about everything in life. Just be observant of your surroundings. Create art, not even necessarily by making something physical. Art could be a memory that you have in your head, something beautiful that you can remember. So tomorrow, when you're heading out the door to go to work or to get your day started, when you're getting in your car, when you're getting on the train, when you're getting on the bus, just look around. Look at the people that are in the world, the people that are surrounding you. There's gonna be something interesting, something you like, something that you'll see and you'll just, you'll think, huh, that's, that's pretty cool. That's art. And that, that's really, that, that's the message. I want you to go find something that you wouldn't have been looking for just to help brighten up your day. That's it, just find something that will make you smile. And I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for your next video. Good night.